In this video, I'm going to show you a second red mutagen nest for greater red mutagens in the Witcher 3 next gen update. You can farm this infinitely, but you have to do it all at once. Watch all the way to the end so you don't miss this. I don't want you to miss out on these greater red mutagens. It's a short video, you can do it. Subscribe. Okay, so. In the previous video, I warned people that you need to, to uh, do all your farming at once because the nests, when you close out your game, you do save and exit and then load back into the game, then the nests will be dead. But we're going to show you how to farm it so you can farm it infinitely. You just have to do it all at once without closing out the game without reloading no reloading uh so this nest is in uh boke or is in tucson in the blood and wine this is actually a level 17 Geralt that i'm showing you he's taking no damage because he is using golden oriole we're also using the crossbow because we're using the deadly precision build it is a very good build to use against high level enemies that are not bosses when you're way under leveled and so you can have the maximum mutagens you can use the maximum mutagens you can use is something like 50 around 50 definitely if you had 55 greater mutagens you would not have use for all those mutagens you can change the color of mutagens once you get the corvo i was able to do that at level 18 uh on death march uh, so it's definitely doable that you can get Corvo and you can change the color of the mutagens. But red is the most valuable mutagen. Now this nest, unlike the other nest that I showed you, uh, it is not as good for money. So you're going to get about half as much money from the, I think, Greater Perun runestone as opposed to the Greater Axi Glyph in the other nest. And I'll show you the location of the other nest here uh, after we're done with the fast forwarding through it but what you want to do is you want to go to the nest and you uh, kill all the centipedes for this one there was only two and then once they're all dead loot the centipedes and then go to the nest you need a bomb uh, loot the nest uh, but leave one item in and then go back uh, where I'm meditating and meditate for four days 96 hours plus i believe is that uh, so that would be five you'd have to actually meditate five different times because you can't only meditate 23 hours at a time and then you do the same thing you loot the nest but leave one item in so leave the lowest quality item in there um i actually kind of low on chitinous shell so i i wanted to get more of those and then i'd leave some other stuff but just make sure you leave one item. Do not loot all, otherwise the nest will die. If you save, quit, or you save and reload, that's gonna kill the nest. And so, like I said, if you don't have any greater mutagens, if you had 55, that would be maximum. The maximum number of uh, of reds that you'll need is, is under 20, actually, so, just do it 20 times you should be able to do 20 times in less than a half hour for sure meditating and you'll get good good money from these rune stones here i had already you know farmed 42 from the other nest so i farmed only like seven from this nest or something like that because i was like i've got plenty i haven't even unlocked the mutagen tree yet but you need a ton of mutagens it's like 49 mutagens something like that for the mutagen tree so you do need these greater mutagens and they're worth nine times what the lesser mutagens are so you have to kill the the dudes on whale graveyard tons of times because if there's four of them and they drop one lesser that's that's four ninth of a greater right and it's going to take you a lot longer to fight them uh than it is to just meditate for four days and loot the nest all right subscribe to the linus wilson channel we give you the secrets to crush the witcher 3 wild hunt next gen update bye, -bye. good luck on the path